Islamabad is indeed a beautiful city, but there are certain landmarks which culminate the breathtaking Islamabad very briefly. The beautiful Faisal Mosque is one among them, located at the foot of Magla Hills. The mosque is inspired by a Bedouin tent and is one of Asia's largest structures reflecting traditional architectural design. It was designed by a Turkish architect Vidat Doloke and was built between 1976 to 1986. Most of its cost was covered as a gift from King Faisal of Saudi Arabia, hence the name. Faisal Mosque is now the fifth largest mosque in the world in terms of capacity, which can accommodate about 300,000 worshippers. Visitors are always welcome, including non-Muslims. Shakar Parnia. While speaking of the landmarks of Islamabad, one cannot ignore Shakar Parnia. Shakar Parnia is a very lush expanse of garden and trees located near zero point at an altitude of 609 meters. This botanical garden has a gloomy greenery, beautiful environment and fresh air. The sign under each tree marking the name of the people who planted it and the date on which it was planted also gives the garden a historical touch. One can easily overlook the city from here. The area is very clean and well presented. It's a very beautiful place with local characters. Just ahead of Shakarpariya, we have the monument. The Pakistan Monument is a national monument located in the Shakarpariya Hills. It was constructed to symbolize the unity and togetherness of Pakistani people while keeping the rich Mughal architecture of the subcontinent in mind. It is shaped like a blooming flower and on each petal there are carvings depicting the history, culture and various landmarks of Pakistan. The four large petals represent the four cultures of the people of Pakistan, namely the Balochi, the Punjabi, the Sindhi and Pakhtuns. The monument is located at a certain height so that it can be seen from across the twin cities which adds more to it as a popular destination. Jasmine Garden is a public garden famous for its 250 different varieties of roses and jasmines. Located near Jinnah Sport Complex Apara on Srinagar Highway in Islamabad. This stunning garden hosts occasional flower shows, particularly in the springs. Lake Free Park is located on Murray Road, Islamabad, and it runs under CDA's administration. It gives a beautiful view of the Rava Lake and a boating facility to the citizens right in the middle of the city. Lake Free Park also has Pakistan's largest bird cage. Sadpur is an ancient village located near Damaniko, Islamabad. Its culture and heritage is older than 2,000 years, existing even before Islamabad was built. The place was given by Mughal Emperor Akbar to Sayyid Khan Ghakar for his services in the fight against Shir Shah Suri. The village was named after Sultan Said son of Sultan Sarang Khan, who was the chief of the Potoha region during the reign of Mughal Emperor. It has now become the most favorite place to visit for the citizens of Islamabad with high-end restaurants and delicious food.
The Shah Ladita caves are over 700 years old. It is believed to be used by Mughal emperors while traveling from Afghanistan to Hindustan. The cave is named after the Mughal period Darvish, Shah Ladetta. In addition to that, it is a 2400 years old Buddhist archaeological site and in October 2010, CDA approved the preservation of this site. Over the years, it has become a tourist attraction for people in Islamabad and out of city. Let's take a look at Islamabad's next landmark now. Magla Hills is located at the north of Islamabad. It is the city's highest tourist spot and is lush green, filled with wildlife and wonderful trails. The roads uphill are in good condition but are slightly steep and not too wide. The popular Manal open air restaurant is built on top of the hill, overlooking the entire city and making the evenings there most romantic ones. The plus point of being at Margla Hilltop is that all the other landmarks of the city can be seen from here, which adds up more value to its existence and beauty.